So everybody, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So today I thought we could all um, get together and try and make 1,000 cockatoos. Well today I suppose I'll show you how to do one and then we can keep going at our own pace after that. Does everybody know the story of the 1,000 cranes from Japan? It kind of started during World War, or like after World War II actually. You know the atomic bomb that hit Hiroshima, it affected everybody afterwards for a long time because of the radiation that it caused. And there was this one girl who was in, I think she was like a primary school student, she got diagnosed with leukemia and that was because of the radiation and when she went into hospital and when her father found out that she's not going to survive for very long he wanted to give her some encouragement so he let her know that if she folded 1000 cranes while she's still in hospital um, hopefully if she kept on folding 1000 um, cranes she could get better so she worked really hard to fold every day and that gave her a lot of courage and what happened was all, a lot of her friends in primary school they wanted to help her out as well so they started folding lots of cranes at school to encourage her to get better quickly and unfortunately she didn't survive but that um, the act kept on going and even today when somebody gets sick or when we want to wish good luck to somebody um, we have a tradition where we would get together or it could even just be one, you know, one person by themselves but we fold lots and lots of cranes and you know we, people make them in all different sizes and I thought I don't know with all this um, the pandemic happening it was really it's, it's been really sad and I thought we could do our own version, but instead of cranes, because we live in Australia, and when you look up, there's lots of cockatoos, right? So what I did was, um, I took the crane idea, but I, I sort of converted it so that it's, it looks more like a cockatoo. So when you're ready today, um, I would like you all to grab one sheet of paper, just any kind of um, photocopy paper or something like that. And you're going to need ideally scissors. If you don't have scissors, it's okay. We can you can tear it with your hands as well. And a yellow yellow pen to do the the crest, and a pen or a pencil. So when you're ready, um, let's start. Yeah, first, can you fold so that you create sort of like a big triangle and really press down the edges so you get a crisp line. And then you're going to make a rectangular shape along the edge of the triangle. Fold really fold down nice and hard so you get the line. Turn it around and we'll fold again just to make sure that we can see that line nice and clear. And we're gonna cut both of them. scissors if you can. If you don't have scissors you can just tear it with your fingers. Lift up the triangle, stick your hand in, and then we're going to line up the line in the middle all the way across. And again, make sure you're folding 
all just really nice and crisp. Turn it around. Lift up the triangle. Then we're going to fold it so it turns into a square. Make sure all the folded other pot parts are still intact where it was before. Fold. Just turn it around so that the part that opens up is on the bottom. And we're going to line the edges of the middle section again. And same on the other side. Nice and tight. And again, we'll repeat on the other side. I think the trick is to fold, make sure the crease is really folded down, and also to line up the lines, the edge to where it's going to in the middle. And now you just have to fold down the little triangle at the top. Again fold down so you get the crease. You lift up. And then you're going to open up the triangles. fold to create a diamond. So you're going to pull in all the edges so it lines up in the center. You're just going over the crease that you'd already created before. Yes, okay, so now you're going to turn it around and fold the triangle down. Open up. And we're going to fold again to the center over the crease that you've already got. Just repeating what you did before and then once you've got that you're going to lift the top and then fold all the way down And once you've got that, you're going to fold the top section in, then you turn it over, then you're going to lift up the bottom, that. Did you get that? And now this is going to be the, the head. So you're going to lift up, all the way up and down. Flip it over, lift up and down. Then you're 
going to sandwich the top and the bottom. And do the same on the other side. Sandwich it. Then this is going to be the tail. the tail slightly at an angle press it down and then you're going to fold the tail down so it creates like a triangle in the center repeat what you just did but rather than going down we're going to go up and the bit that sticks up it's going to be a part of the crest yeah, now you can decide how long you'd like the crest to be and cut it Looking at the cockatoos there, they all seem to have slightly different characters, so you can give yours your own character. Once you've got that done, you can draw the eyes and the beak. A little bit that sticks out can be the beak. tricky figuring out where their eyes are. Okay. Now once you've got that you can open up the wings so you can start to fly. And just to give it some, some shape, you just need your uh, pen or a pencil, or something that's rounded, so you can roll the wings around. Hold it for a bit, and when you open it, you should get a wing that's, that's a little bit curled. Depending on how you see the cockatoo, you can fold this as well. It doesn't have to be like, This is just one way. And now just the tail. Just with the scissors again. Yeah, and then you just give it the 
the shape that you want and it's your first coffee too.